Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be uh, talking about another example for alignment guide. Okay, so this is what we're going to be creating uh, for our demo and uh, as you can see there are uh, four circles here and uh, we are moving the circle using the alignment guide and uh, for this example we are going to be uh, creating another uh, custom alignment guide. So okay, let's go ahead and get started with that uh, custom alignment guide okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an extension here for vertical alignment and uh, we're going to call this one cross alignment because this circle is going to be it's going to go across uh, these uh, other circles, okay? All right, we're going to uh, override the, oh, we're going to provide the definition for default value. And what we're going to return is going to be D dot bottom. Okay, that's another property that's provided for us. And let's go ahead and give it a static let cross alignment. Like so. Okay, so that is our, um, so default value. Let's give it a D. So that's our dimensions, and uh, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get the D dot bottom, and uh, now let's go ahead and, and create this uh, view where we're gonna use this uh, cross alignment. So I'm gonna create a state variable. And we're gonna, uh, this is gonna be the index at which the arrow is gonna point. Uh, so we're gonna initialize it with one, and then I'm going to create colors and these are the colors uh, representing the three circles next up we're going to create our body and in body, we're gonna create edge stack that's gonna have this vertical alignment. You're also gonna give it a spacing. All right, now let's create a circle. And this circle is gonna have a foreground color, uh, maybe color, color dot purple. You're going to add an overlay on that and this overlay is going to be of image let's give this image a font And font color white. All right, so we're done with all ray. Now the alignment guide. So we're gonna give the alignment guide. This alignment guide is gonna be cross alignment. Okay, and uh, the computed value for this one is going to be we're gonna get the dimension, and we're gonna say we need dimension vertical. alignment guide dot center so get us the center for the vertical alignment okay and uh, yeah so uh, that's gonna be it uh, let me see this is our alignment guide okay and we're gonna give it a frame for 
this view okay all right so let's go ahead and run this and see what we got so far okay so we have a circle purple circle with 100 100 side uh, that's perfect um, uh, we don't see if there's any alignment being applied here because uh, that's something that's gonna come up uh, once we have our uh, elements so let's create a v stack okay and in that v stack uh, we're gonna say this v stack is gonna have alignment of center okay and then for each colors dot indices and we're gonna identify this by self I N and let's create a group uh, in which we can actually represent these so we're gonna compose all the views inside that now we're gonna say if I is equal to self dot index in that case give me a circle that has a fill of radial gradient radial gradient initializes with uh, this overload that takes a gradient so we're gonna give it gradient and this gradient is gonna have colors and these are the colors so we're gonna say color dot white and self dot colors at index i okay that's what we want we want it to come we want the center of the radial gradient to be center and um, now the radius the start radius is going to be one and the end radius is going to be 100 okay and then we're gonna apply trans uh, transition any transition dot identity and for the alignment guide we're gonna say it's gonna have cross alignment and uh, here we're gonna give it a uh, we're gonna have the dimension and we're gonna say dimension vertical alignment dot center so we're going to apply it on the center okay um, for the cross alignment if that is not true that means we want to actually point our uh, we want to align center of our uh, circle if the current index is uh, is same as uh, as the currently iterating index um, basically this index oh sorry um, this guy right here this index is uh, uh, same as the currently current iterating index in that case uh, align circle within the v stack and circle within the h stack if that's not the case then we need a circle so we'll actually copy this and then we're gonna trim it down so we're gonna need a circle and uh, once again these are all going to be same um, transition is going to be identity uh, we don't need any vertical alignment in that case and we do need frame for both of these so frame 100 and 100 and no alignment okay so i'm going to apply this same frame here as well and let's go ahead and run this There we go. Okay, so we started with index one, right? So that's why it's pointing at um, index one. Now, if I give it a index two here and run this, um, it should actually point to the last element. And if I give it a index zero, in that case, it should actually 
point at the first okay now uh, so this is the main part uh, that is done and now let's go ahead and and um, give this uh, an animation so what we want to do is um, we want to give it an animation so let's go ahead and see where we want to apply this animation maybe in the uh, H stack yeah that's actually perfect so let's try there okay we're gonna add some padding and we're gonna say on appear okay uh, we're gonna say timer dot scheduled timer um, and we want to take the overload that takes repeat and timer so um, with interval of one second repeats true and the block is going to give us a timer okay and here we're going to say with animation and uh, so simply say self dot index plus equal one if self dot index equal equal self dot colors dot count so if it is e if it is equal to or uh, basically you can say it's greater than or equal to it's not going to be greater than or equal to but as soon as it reaches uh, equal to just reset to zero okay and i don't think we're going to need this so we're going to we can just say underscore here and uh, with that let's go ahead and run this and uh, there we go we have our animation the index is changing um, every second and and we, we are basically animating that transition uh, between uh, different uh, positions for the indexes and that's how you can actually achieve uh, this uh, effect of uh, arrow pointing at different circle at different interval okay so yeah so this is it for this video i hope you learned something uh new about the alignment guide and you're getting a little bit more grasp onto that so uh yeah this is it for uh this video and uh we will see uh, i think another example of uh, alignment guide um in the next video okay so that's it for this video thanks again for watching